Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I'm going to do what's called a dump and swirl. First time I've tried this and I got my inspiration from Dwight Pores. It's all one word, D-W-I-G-H-T. P-O-U-R-S, Dwight Pores. If you get a chance, go to his channel, check it out, because he does wonderful at this dump and swirl. As you can see, I have a light coat of um, Amsterdam black down um, around the edges, the corners, the sides, and that's going to help the paint move. Let's go over my other paints. Today I have Artist Loft. A metallic leaf green. I have Deco Art Metallic Peacock Pearl. I have Folk Art Metallic Pure Gold. And my last color is Folk Art Metallic Pearl White. And what, what we want to do here is I'm going to be pouring in the middle all the paints and then tipping them out and I'm hoping to get some pearl cells here uh, from this white, from the metallic white pearl. Um, no silicones added today. And let's go over my pouring medium. I forgot to talk about that. Equal parts of paint to Floetrol. Um, and just a, like a teaspoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium in Varnish. And then I did thin with water. And let's, I'll show you how thin these paints are, if you can see that, hopefully you can. They are very thin. And I did go by uh, Dwight's Pouring Medium recipe. So I've laid down a little bit of the pearl white then I'll lay down some of this peacock color. And some of the metallic leaf green. And the gold. And I will lay some more of that white down. Quite a bit of the white. And then I'll just kind of repeat my layers here. And you want to make sure you have enough paint to cover your whole canvas. Okay, and now what we do is we put the black on top, quite a bit of the black. Okay, now the object is to try and get that black over the top of the other paints. which I have done. And now you wanna take your black and cover the canvas. I'll have just enough paint. Just this last corner here. Of 
quite a bit of a stretch here to get that corner covered, but I think I just have just enough. Okay. Just gonna let it sit here a minute and then I will torch it see what we get come up Like I'm getting quite a few cells up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit a little while and then I'll bring you back and we'll see what develops. Okay, we'll leave it sit a while and then we'll come back and see what we get. Okay everybody, I'm back and I've let this sit about 25 minutes and I have torched it a few times. And as you can see, this is just beautiful. Um, all the cells that came up, so pretty blue. Some of the gold came through in the green. I am very happy with everything except this middle part that is plain. I just want to give it a little something extra. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of paint down here. Very little. And I might just blow it out a little bit with the with my real little blow dryer just to see if I can get a little something in the middle to add to this painting. And I will put a little bit extra black around the paint that I just added. To blow it up on that and then blow it out. See what we get here. Okay, let's give this a try. really don't want to disturb any of the little cells I've already gotten. I just thought, let's blow this out a little bit here and see what we get.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with just something like that. Okay. Now I will give it another torch. And I think composition wise, it will go this way. So that is the way I do want to show it to you. And I'm going to get you down now for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Close up. This is the upper left hand corner. You can just see all these beautiful, beautiful cells here. Again, go to Dwight Pores and check his channel out. He does wonderful, wonderful dump and swirls like this. Just beautiful cells in here. We'll take you up the middle here. Here's a gold cell. And we'll go up the middle. And here is just what I added in the middle just to give the eye a little something added to look at. And we'll take you over to the right hand corner, right upper corner here. Give you a close up of some of these cells. Very interesting cells in here. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the, ring the bell and choose all. So you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would really help me out. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.